You're still watching the City of Lagos TV show. You're welcome to Health Lagos. This is a segment where we take a look at progress report, success rate, and of course, challenges of various health institutions in the City of Lagos. Today, we're going to be focusing on the Lagos State Health Management Agency, LASHMA. It is very clear to us that health is a major or forms the major pillar of the themes agenda of Mr. Governor, Mr. Babajude Songulu. In recent times, LASHMA has been able to come up with robust health insurance scheme and of course, taking a look at efforts and initiatives to improve the welfare of Lagosians through quality health services. When we talk about health again in the city of Lagos, considering the huge population, health infrastructure is a major aspect of governance, which has to be delivered as expected. And so to talk more on recent success stories and achievements of LASHMA, we've got the general manager, Dr. Emanuela Zamba. You're welcome, madam. Thank you very so much. Sir. We're quite aware that uh, quite a lot has happened really in recent times, but first, Health is a major pillar in the governor of Bajide Sonwulu's government, looking at his team's agenda. As an agency saddled with providing quality health care, what is actually the agency's strategic health master plan for Lagosians in general? Thank you for the question. Um, as you mentioned, we sit under the second pillar of Bajide Sonwulu's administration. Our core mandate really is to advance the cause of universal health coverage for Lagos residents. And it was um, a platform upon which our governor campaigned vigorously, promising Lagos residents to be able to provide affordable and accessible qualitative healthcare services to all Lagos residents, regardless of your socioeconomic status or your ethnicity or where exactly in Lagos you live, you should have access to the same standard of services across board. So that is the mandate that we have been given to run with, and so far so good. Um, in terms of our strategic plan, we are very happy that at the federal level now, it has been recognized that it is important that health insurance should become mandatory for all residents in Nigeria. And specifically, you're supposed to get onto your social health insurance plan in the state where you reside. For us in Lagos State, that is our Iliraiko health plan. And we are very excited to be able to leverage on this platform to move this universal health coverage agenda even more forward. Now, let's look at the universal health agenda. On which tripod does the universal health agenda stand in the whole strategic master plan? What is the scope, really? The scope is to ensure that every single resident has access to qualitative, affordable, healthcare in Lagos State. Um, whether you access it from a private facility, whether you access it from a public facility, we are even looking at how to include other means of health providers in Lagos State so that wherever you are, um, you are able to access care at every level. Since the launch of uh, LASHMA, the agency has initiated a robust, all-encompassing health insurance program. What is the scope of this scheme, the holistic approach taken to actually aggressively drive the implementation strategy, success, stories and challenges? The first thing I would mention is the fact that we have political goodwill with regards to ensuring that this um, particular agenda is here to stay. So we have enjoyed that support and goodwill from our governor, Babaji Dilishola Sorolu, and we are very grateful for that. That has provided us an enabling environment to push this agenda forward. The entire value chain of what we offer to Lagos residents is leveraged on technology. We have a platform. Whether we want to enroll you onto the scheme, we, we use IT. Whether you want to access care at the facility, we use IT. Whether we want to pay the providers for your care, we use IT. Whether we want to monitor, we use IT, etc. And it makes us more efficient and more effective and setting us up to be able to scale up as we move along. We are also very big on demand generation and social marketing. It costs a lot of money to keep awareness out there going 
using all the media platforms, whether it's TV or newspapers or radio. Because we are a social health plan, it is more important for us to get this message out there to the informal sector who are not really aware of what health insurance is about and how important it is to providing quality life for them and their families. So we leverage more on looking at radio. We have about four radio programs that we are on every week. We have people that are now actually quite devoted followers that do calling on those programs. We talk about different aspects of the scheme, provide information, book calling and ask us questions. And we also use it to resolve issues along um, the way. So that's also to do with demand generation. We are also expanding into the grassroots. So if you say you want people to come on to something, you have to provide the access for them to be able to do that with ease. So we have opened divisional offices in the five divisions of Lagos State. And we are looking to open 13 subdivisional offices this year to complement the efforts of those five and ensure that we have even more spread within the grassroots. We are looking at leveraging on existing gateways and networks. For instance, Lazara. We are now finalizing a partnership. When you walk in and you get your Lazara ID, you should be able to register for health insurance you know, immediately. And those are things that we are looking at to see how we can leverage with other things that the state has um, to be able to ensure that people have access. When you look at the supply side, we are not just dealing with public facilities. We are also dealing with private facilities. And our role essentially is to ensure that we use our demand side financing to improve the supply side. So what do I mean by that? If you have a group of people who are your enrollees that are empaneled into your facility, you get monies for those people every month, which we call capitation. And that, of course, not everybody is going to come. Usually, utilization is maybe around 5 to 10 percent, you know, people that would walk in for care. So you are able to, you know, optimize those resources to not only provide the care whenever they walk in, but to use it to improve quality within your facility as well. Um, and we do try to monitor that. One of our core mandates is also to ensure that people that cannot pay for health insurance are also covered. That is the vulnerable members of the society. Um, and so this initiative helps us to harness funds, innovative financing initiative, Eco Social Health Alliance, ECOSHA. And that was launched um, end of last year. Mr. Governor provides equity fund. Federal government gives us the BHCPF fund. And we also have private sponsors, politicians, um, donor partners, people coming together to come and they have an interest in maybe looking after people that are living with um, HIV, for instance, or somebody wants to support people that are widows. We have this pooling mechanism to be able to look at what are the resources we have to be able to look at the vulnerable and how do we sustain those resources so that it's not just something that we do now and we are not able to you know, move it forward. Our benefit package we are constantly looking to see how we can improve on it or expand it. For instance, we recently, I think when you came the last time, we hadn't added glasses and dental um, studios that is now part of the scheme. We also have added um, cancer care onto the scheme. So if you've been with us for um, a year and you're renewing, if unfortunately you come up, up to something like that, you are able to cover some aspects of your cancer care free of charge under the um, program. In this part of the world, Nigerians are not too exposed or knowledgeable about insurance policy, especially health insurance. But of course, with the agency making giant strides to try to build that culture, I think you're making some level of progress so far. But really, um, health insurance, what is the great benefit? And how do you meet up with your own part of the deal as a client, as somebody who needs the policy. Health insurance, for once people get to know what it is about, is really a no-brainer because it helps you to keep money in your pocket and it helps you to live a qualitative life with your family. It's not really a matter of how rich you are, but how wisely you spend the resources that God blesses you with. In terms of health, you will never know when illness is going to come knocking. You will never know how severe that illness is going to be, and by extension, how much is going to cost you to treat or manage that illness. And so health insurance provides a wonderful opportunity for you to save a little aside. As long as you're doing it consistently, this unwelcome visitor, nobody wants <laughs> ill health. Whenever this unwelcome visitor comes to you or your family member, you are confident enough to get up, walk to your facility, 
You do not have to pay out of pocket when you get there. Even if it is zero naira reading in your pocket at that time, you can walk in and you can access care for your family because you have saved aside for that particular illness whenever it comes. So even if, let's say you have a, your, one of your children is asthmatic, for instance, there are people that have illnesses that are chronic, somebody is hypertensive or diabetic. Let's face it, what comes out of their pocket on a monthly basis to maintain those kind of things is, is not small. But all these things are covered under health insurance. So once you made your payment, whenever your policy expires, you're guaranteed care whenever you walk into your facility without having to look at, oh, how much do I have? And the benefit package has been so designed that it covers about 80 to 85% of what you would normally walk into a facility for. We took our time to really research that and be sure that the things that you would walk in and you would need, this package is able to benefit, give you that benefit. Um, and so largely, if you come onto the Iliraiko Social Health Plan, you are guaranteed that most of the things that you would need are sorted and you have qualitative life. Because once you are able to sort out health, then you can now look at how much will I pay for my children's school fees? How much are we going to eat? Can I build a house? Etc. But sometimes, one episode of illness can wipe out a family's generational fortunes. Okay, mostly women, children, and married couples have been major beneficiaries of fantastic health packages to a large extent, also form a major part of the population. Can you give us um, a statistical data uh, to appreciate the positive impact of LASHMA so far? Thank you for that question. Right now, we are covering about 755,000 lives in Lagos State. Looking at our figures from maybe January of last year, we have about 59,628 malaria cases that we've treated. We have about 27,138 hypertensive cases that we've managed. 67,752 diabetes. We've had 5,671 babies, out of which we've had triplets, and we were just recently blessed with quadruplets. I think that was in February. That's the first quadruplet babies that we've had, on, and we are very happy. 54% of those deliveries were by caesarean section. Um, we recently added glasses. I think that was um, early last year. So far, we've given out about 495 of those recommended classes. Dental procedures, which is also included, we have about 3,290 people that have benefited from that. In terms of antenatal care, we look like 9,616 women have um, come for their antenatal visits. So you can see that, you know, it's making impact. It's interfering positively in terms of health outcomes and ensuring that people who may be, if they were not on health insurance, would never have been able to afford some of these things in terms of health emergencies or whatever, we've been able to save lives. Um, on, on the scheme. To what extent has LASHMA collaborated and synergized with international organizations and NGOs to achieve your set of objectives? We have a um, donor coordination forum in this agency. We know there are quite a lot of partners who are interested in supporting the universal health coverage initiatives of states in Nigeria and elsewhere. And in Lagos states, we are blessed to have some of them on board with us. So some of them are supporting us on the demand side, some are supporting us on the supply side of what we do um, as an agency. The donor coordination brings us all together. We look at what is our strategic rollout for the particular year. We had um, the first meeting um, for this quarter these are what you have on your own agenda. How do we synergize that and work together for the benefits of Lagos so that there's no duplication of efforts? If a particular partner is working somewhere, would you like to look at somewhere else, you know, and that sort of thing. So, for instance, we were able to expand the grassroots um, and employ uh, community-based enrollment officers, a hundred of them, to support our grassroots staff to market the scheme and do sensitization. And this was funded by one of our partners, HSCL, who is an implementing partner for Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. We also have another partner that um, is working called LHSS, who is also an implementing partner under USAID, who recently just took up the responsibility of making payments for what we call our Ecosha field officers. These field officers are taken from within the community, so they reside in the community where they come from, and they are the ones that help us to identify the vulnerable, continue to build our database, and provide like an after customer service sort of support 
for these vulnerables because sometimes vulnerables don't have enough confidence to walk into a facility thinking that maybe they will you know treat them shabbily or whatever so their role is not only to bring them put them on our database enroll as long as we have the funds but ensure that they visit the facilities when they need to and follow up with them what was your experience and give us real-time feedback so that these people actually get the benefit that they're supposed to get so a partner is helped supporting us in that regard we've done quite a lot of um, research we're just about to validate a perception survey which was also supported by a partner with regards to our role in regulation a partner from access is supporting us building the regulatory portal so with regards to our regulatory responsibilities that is the portal that we use because I, I mentioned that we are very big on IT that's the platform that we use to implement a significant portion of what we do. We have been able um, to work with a lot of donor partners. Recently, we just got an approval from Bill Amenda Gates. They're going to support us in conducting research with regards to telemedicine. As you know, we are the only state so far that has like a state-owned telemedicine platform, which we started because of COVID. However, we now offer it as a standalone. But we now thought further that, okay, since health insurance is now mandatory, so why don't we look at putting telemedicine into that benefit package as an integral service or benefit that you would get when you come onto your go. Whether you want to go to the hospital or not, you pick your call and you make a call to your telemedicine provider. And if it's not something that, you know, they can treat you on the phone, they can help you transfer your prescription, you go and pick it up in your facility, etc. So that is currently going on jim listening to you talk dishing out uh, this very vital information that looks as if you've done your own work so what is actually responsible for this in terms of your research in terms of your team to be able to actualize your objectives i would start by saying that um we are blessed in lashma to have a formidable team as the center of excellence, we need to live up to that reputation. So while health insurance is something very new in public service, we have the latitude because we have um, a fund which we are able to utilize in terms of administrative fees and things. We are able to headhunt people actually from the private sector to work with us here. They become staff of Lashma and we are able to utilize those skills that they are bringing on board from the already existing health insurance industry to move us forward. On my part though, I'm extremely passionate about health insurance. In my former life, quote unquote, I was actually in charge of coordinating the planning and design of this scheme when I worked in the Ministry of Health. So for me, it's like a child that uh, I got pregnant with and delivered and I have the um, rare advantage or blessing actually to be able to nurture it and wean it to somewhere where it would be something that is you know here to stay so it's obvious that you're you're on top of your game really thank you sir now Lagos is a city with ever-growing high population density which automatically is putting serious pressure on health infrastructure. How effective, proactive and dynamic is Lashma to measure up with this pressure? Yes, so we continue to grow. Um, figures will tell you 23 million, 25 million, somewhere I've even heard 28 million. We just continue to grow because Lagos will always attract people due to its level of development. And so yes, there is pressure on um, infrastructure, but that is really the beauty of what health insurance can bring to the table because health insurance is able to spread access. The more, the merrier? The more, the merrier. We, right now we have about 3,000 plus health facilities in Lagos and we have about 300 public health facilities mixed together, whether you look at primary, secondary. I would say that it's a bit skewed. What I mean by that is that the secondary healthcare facilities are choked um, simply because people are not using the proper route to access healthcare, which is what the primary healthcare system is supposed to be. It's meant to be the gateway to um, healthcare. And that is something that's health insurance is helping or is you know, currently helping to correct by ensuring that people get enrolled into primary health care centers or primary care centers. It helps those facilities to build the level of quality of their services so that people gain more confidence and they are able to now reverse what is currently happening and access it from the primary health care level. When you need secondary care, then you, are, you now get referred. So that is something that we are helping the health sector 
to um, uh, normalize, whereby secondary takes care of secondary and primary takes care of primary to a large extent. And we don't discriminate when it comes to health insurance. We leverage on both public and private. Not only that, because we know that the spread is not 100%, but where you don't have a health facility, you might have a community pharmacist, for instance. A community pharmacist, uh, which is something we are currently discussing with them, can be brought on board. You can institute telemedicine into that pharmacy, have people walking, have a telemedicine encounter with the doctor, pick up their drugs with the community pharmacist. If they now need to be referred, they are now referred to the nearest facility. So those are the things that we are looking at. How can you make providers all inclusive, leverage on every single resource that we have in Lagos to provide care to everybody. So GM, quality health care requires adequate funding. You've mentioned it severally in the course of our conversation. To what extent has the governor actually played a huge role in providing the required funds for you to excel? Mr. Babaji de Lushola Sohol is fully aware that he is the number one UHC champion for Lagos State and he takes that responsibility very seriously. We have a Lagos State Health Fund which has been established and is ring-fenced um, where all premiums for health insurance are paid into. And when I say ring-fenced, that means those funds can only be utilized for health insurance and nothing else. And that has been established and it is institutionalized. The other area is regards to the equity fund, which is also in the provision of the law. It says 1% of the consolidated revenue fund must be set aside as equity fund to be able to provide care for vulnerables. That is being released to us on a periodic basis. And right now, we've already collected about 750 million from governments with regards to the equity fund. Um, it has been allocated for this year and we will just start receiving that hopefully very soon. And even federal government is adding some funds to the pot through the Basic Healthcare Provision Fund. And it is because of this that with the support of Mr. Governor, we set up the ECOSHA, which is our Eco-Social Health Alliance. This is also kudos to our governor. We have expanded additional benefits for public servants in Lagos State through the development of a public servant sinking fund. And what that means is that some of the benefits that we have realized public servants actually require, based on um, our data and you know feedback interactions, we have now set up a system whereby the agency is able to pay for the additional benefits for public servants. Things like a myomectomy, we are able to pay for that. You need an MRI CT scan, which is not on uh, the benefit packet, you are able to get that. You need to have a um, little bit more surgical procedures, maybe orthopedic, you need to be admitted for longer. A lot of things have been put together based on what we have found out among the public service family. And we are now providing those additional benefits um, for them. We have enjoyed um, support from various sectors, private sector, political environment, etc. Um, everybody coming on board to support this and this is something because this is only possible because he has given us that enabling um, environment. We are hopeful we want to have our first fundraising event this year. That would be the first of its kind anywhere for any state health insurance agency. And it's just for us to understand that government has its role. But the truth of the matter is that we in the community, we are a brother's keeper. And if God has blessed you, bless others, you know, so that this life can all of us can live a happy life. There is no way you can actually make this very huge success without a very formidable human capacity structure. So what is your strategy here when it has to do with the human development capacity and capabilities of the agency? Okay, so the first thing I'll say is that we've um, split what we do into three arms. So the structure is such that we have the public HMO aspects, which is Iliraiko, providing the social health insurance program. We have the regulatory arm, which is implementing the Lagos State Health Scheme. So under the law, it says that the Lagos State Health Scheme comprises the social health plan, which is Iliraiko, the formal sector plan, which is what our public servants are enjoying, and also all private health plans sold in Lagos State by private HMOs. So that entire system is what we call the Lagos State Health Scheme. And that is what regulatory 
the regulatory arm in Lashma superintends is more or less to be able to sanitize the health insurance space, so to speak. So those regulatory functions are going on in that arm. Then we now have the Eco-Social Health Alliance, which we have just given birth to, sorting out issues to do with the vulnerable. So we've structured ourselves and we see those roles. They integrate at some point, but you know they're quite distinct in how they move um, forward. So we have succession planning here for everybody that comes in. So you are shadowed, you come in, you get your shadow and you move forward together. We also have started like a career path in the health insurance space. And what do I mean by that? On the demand side, when we first came in, um, we started with what we call enrollment officers. We brought some in. Now we have expanded. We now have officers at the divisional offices. So you come in at enrollment officer level, or CB, you come in as a community-based enrollment officer, being supported by a partner. If you perform well, you become an enrollment officer that is now a bona fide staff of Lashma. If you perform even better, you now rise to the level of a sales officer within Lashma. If you perform fantastically, you can become an assistant divisional coordinator. You can become a divisional coordinator. You can become a sales manager. So there's a distinct path. Um, we are also providing employment. Mr. Governor has been given the mandate to govern for another term. What will be the set agenda for Lashman to consolidate on this achievement so far? There is now a federal law mandating all Nigerian residents to um, be under their state health insurance plans. For us in Lagos, that is fantabulous. And that is something that we are leveraging on in this new dispensation come May 29 to try and improve on the coverage in the agency here. So we'll be employing social marketing. It was more like encouraging people to come and buy. Uh, but now it is saying that you have to have health insurance for your benefits living in Lagos. But in order to get people to be aware that it is compulsory, you have to give, get that message out there. So we'll be um, deploying social marketing on all platforms to ensure that this message gets out. Our responsibility after that is to ensure ease of access. As you are coming onto the scheme, we are giving you various options that you can choose from how you can become onboarded. So we already have a USSD code, for instance. We intend to expand that to having two. We already have toll-free lines, which you can call, and 24-hour call center to provide support for you. Whenever you call, they can walk you through what you need to do. You can self-register on our website. You can go through the motions if you are IT um, savvy. You can walk into a divisional or sub-divisional office. Or as I mentioned, even a LASRA registration office um, to get yourself registered onto the scheme. We are planning to leverage on POS operator, petty trading and stuff like that. And they get commissions. Those people will be raised as independent agents. We've started working with some of them, but we intend to expand it so that wherever you are, you come out to, within your community, there should be someone that you can, you know, or somewhere that you can go and have yourself registered. Taking an overview of the um, giant strides of Lashma, how do you intend to broaden the horizon of healthcare infrastructure and delivery in Lagos? We like to think outside the box. This scheme is providing what I would call like the NIDOS to reform our health sector. If we are able to get everyone to key into this reality, for the fact that demand side financing, when you pay this capitation to the hospital, it is a guaranteed income. They get it every month, willy-nilly. You calculate the number of people that are assigned to that hospital and you pay that money and you hold them accountable for the money that you've given to them. Definitely to help us to improve the landscape with regards to health infrastructure. It would also open opportunities for us to establish hospitals where there are none, for instance, because people are guaranteed income with people registering onto this scheme. It encourages private sector to step up and set up a facility in an area where they can pool the people that live there and they're guaranteed that income. For what they do. That will encourage infrastructure development, um, even from the government side point of view, in terms of maybe refurbishing some of our PCs, etc. These are things that health insurance can help to do.
through demand side financing. I will also give the example of what we are currently doing, even with Ogun State. For our public servants, um, many of them live in the borders or between Ogun and Lagos, or even within Ogun State. And it doesn't make sense for them to live there and now register in a facility that they have to literally travel, uh, maybe on the weekend or whatever, to go and access care. So we are actually working with the Ogun State Health Insurance Agency. We've picked facilities across their border, and through them, uh, um, public servants can be registered um, and they can access care in local states, which we will now pay for through the State Health Insurance Agency. It's been a wonderful time um, speaking with you, General Manager um, Lashma. So on a final note, uh, what's your word of assurance, encouragement and expectations from all critical stakeholders and Lagosians? For Lagos residents, I want to assure you that Ilira Eko is here, it is for you, it is here to stay, and will continue to improve. Of course, there will be teething problems, but know that the agency is a listening agency, and we will continue to up our game and ensure that you do get quality and affordable health care. Kindly join us. Register your family today. They say the taste of the pudding is in the eating. Eat our pudding and you'll keep eating. Ekosha is here for the vulnerable community. You can contact us on the numbers under the screen here. If you identify a vulnerable community, if you identify a vulnerable member of your society who needs support, call us. We will get an officer on it and we'll ensure that these people get access to care because our governor cares for residents of this state. He is what we call Mr. Empathy and he has given us that mandate that no matter where you find these people, make sure that they get care. So please, we are here for you. Ekosha is here for you. To all our critical stakeholders, thank you for the cooperation and collaboration so far. Continue to be with us. Let's join hands and really make universal health coverage a fantastic and lasting reality for all of us. Ilira Eko, we are leaving no one behind. Ekosha, we are bridging the gap for a healthier Lagos. So Lagosians, you've heard it all. Your good health is the mandate of Lashma. And of course, the government of Mr. Babajide Sonolu, listening to the general manager speak, has given all it takes to ensure that Lashma delivers on its mandate. This is why Lagos, as a center of excellence, of course, is well positioned in terms of governance to give Lagosians the best of life and, of course, of ensuring that the dividends of democracy is delivered as expected. And so that's all on Health Lagos for now. <music>